Hi Jazzy Greens and welcome back to another video. My name is Liz. If this is your first time watching, I hope you guys are doing well today. You are watching the Heaven's Pearls collaboration and for the month of February we're continuing with our Women of the Bible series. Now this month we have chosen to do Ruth. Let me introduce you to the current Heaven's Pearls members. Some of our ladies have decided to take a short break, but hopefully they will return. So for now, we have Tablescapes by Candy, also known as DIY Design by CCW, Anna from the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, Debbie Bubbles, D from Designers Loft, myself Liz from Jazzy Green Decor Style, and our very newest member, Creations by Simone. Welcome, welcome, Simone. We are glad to have you join our group. Click on the playlist and watch everybody's videos. And thank you so much. Now, the book of Ruth is a story that talks about a Moabite woman who accepts the God of the Israelites as her own God and accepts the Israelite people as her own. Ruth teaches us not to let our past define us and to have faith. Without faith, you cannot please God. Even during the most devastating times in our lives, we must trust God and just have faith that he will bring whatever we have asked him to do will come to pass. Now, because of Ruth's faithfulness in a time of national faithlessness, God rewards her by giving her a new husband, Boaz, and a son named Obed, and a privileged position in the lineage of David and Christ. She is the great-grandmother of David. Now, I'm going to read just a little bit of Ruth's Redemption Assured. This is chapter 3 of the book of Ruth. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, shall I not seek security for you, that it may be well with you? Now Boaz, whose young women you were with, is he not our relative? In fact, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Put on your best garment and go down to the threshing floor. But do not make yourself known to the man until he finishes eating and drinking. Then it shall be when he lies down that you shall notice the place where he lies, and you shall go in, uncover his feet, and lie down. And he will tell you what you should do. And she said to her, All that you say to me I will do. So she went down to the threshing floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law instructed her. And after Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was cheerful, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain, and she came softly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. Now it happened at midnight that the man was startled and turned himself, and there a woman was lying at his feet. And he said, Who are you? So she answered, I am Ruth, your maidservant. Take your maidservant under your wing, for you are a close relative. Then he said, Blessed are you for the Lord, my daughter. For you have shown more kindness at the end than at the beginning, in that you did not go after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, do not fear. I will do for you all that you request. For all the people of my town know that you are a virtuous woman. Now, it is true that I am a close relative. However, there is a relative closer than I. Stay this night, and in the morning it shall be that, if he will perform the duty of a close relative for you, good, let him do it. But if he does 
not want to perform the duty for you, then I will perform the duty for you, as the Lord lives. Lie down until morning. So she lay at his feet until morning, and she arose before one could recognize another. Then he said, Do not let it be known that the woman came to the threshing floor. Also, he said, Bring the shawl that is on you to hold it and hold it. And when she held it, he measured six ephahs of barley and laid it on her. Then she went into the city. When she came to her mother-in-law, she said, Is that you, my mother-in-law? Then she told her all that the man had done for her. And she said, These six ephahs of barley he gave me, for he said to me, Do not go empty-handed to your mother-in-law. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will turn out, for the man will not rest until he has concluded the matter this day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, please click that subscribe button and double tap the bell twice so that you will be notified of all of my videos and you won't miss any of them. And give me a big thumbs up. Click the like button. That does help my channel. And you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.